today is going to be all about color. So what I would do, I have my lines. This is the one that has already been expanded, by the way. So we have expanded, we've cleaned up, we have united, and that was all at the end of the last video. I am going to duplicate that guy out. And the one that's on the top, let's just say, right, so this was our line work. I'm going to select all, and I want that to be the darkest brown. So I don't want it to be black. And then I'm going to lock out this layer. Let's just double click and let's just say that is going to be where our color is. And you can even do flat color because we're going to do other ones where it's shadow as well as gradient. So we're going to be a little bit fancier as we start to add on colors. And those are going to come into our next couple tutorials here. So we're going to be drawing on the flat color. Now whenever we're coloring, especially just pay attention to what we just did. We did all of our line work first. I did not do anything with fills as we are building. Next one that I use quite a lot of is object. I drop down to live paint. I click on make and this does a lot of our heavy lifting. I'm going to click on K and clay K is our live paint bucket. It's hiding under shape builder. And just so you can kind of see what's happening in this shape builder, live paint bucket is actually building up all of our shapes. So I think it is a great tool because it really does get rid of almost the use for uh, Pathfinder, especially in the beginning here. So what we were able to do is just come in, it's going to select red, and I'm actually building that shape in the exact shape I want. So I think it is a fantastic little tool. And I'm just going to come in, click, click, click. I want that one to maybe be dark dark let's do our face color and then I want my eyeballs and with this off white pink okay I think I have everything so with this we just created a bunch of shapes literally in the exact shape we want. So I think as soon as you guys go through this one, you are really, really gonna like it. Now the reason that you would do both, why we would have the shape builder or why we would actually have the live paint bucket as well as the blob brush, is if anything is open, so if you have a really, really loose drawing, and this might move more, much more to the, your own drawing style, if things are not enclosed, it's not gonna wanna do live paint for you. So just be aware that I can always do, hey, I can do just the blob brush in some of those areas that are not enclosed. And then I can always come back and do all of the heavy lifting with the, the live paint bucket. So I think that is a good way of doing it. So I'm gonna select everything. We do have to expand when we do this. So notice what these look like, these little boxes. It will be yelling at you quite a bit. So a big mistake is people don't finish their live paint bucket. The next thing they don't do is ungroup ungroup and the magic number usually is three but what we want to do is to grab each one now you're going to notice that there are little segments so what we want to do is come over to our magic wand the default is usually 32 just drop that down to five and now what i would want to do is pretty much unite like colors like values so i'm going to come over to pathfinder that's what the little icon looks like if you can't find it just go V, basically come into your window, drop down to Pathfinder, and then I'm going to unite those shapes. So anything, I'm just going to unite. I can always ungroup these, by the way. And what we are looking to get rid of is any weird stray shapes. So I can just hover. Okay, I think we are good. So for coloring, I don't even want to complicate this, to be honest with you. Blob brush. Many of you are going to just like the blob brush. If you have a Wacom and you like the idea of just kind of a, a, a fancy coloring book, that is the way to go. Just remember to have your line work above and locked out and your life will be very, very easy. It's going to be a little bit sloppier with those edges, but 
really, for the most part, nobody is going to actually see those edges because you're going to have the line work above. If you like the idea of paint bucket and if your artwork really does have a lot more with enclosed shapes and closed areas, then you're really going to like the, the live paint bucket. And it's just going to be a super fast way of doing it. So let's just save, save, save. This one's going to be a quick little demo, and we're going to get into all of the fancy stuff later. So what we're going to be moving on to is our shadows, adding value, and then we're going to be moving on to gradient. But uh, we're going to have some fun on the next tutorial. So save up, and I will see you tomorrow.